Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the B10 HD, and today another Windows 10 video. And this one is about the top five new features on the latest build, which is actually build 14352. Uh, I updated my virtual machine this morning and I was playing around with it, and I noticed a lot of things, but I'm gonna give you my top five that I like a lot. So, number one in my list. So, they reverted back with the File Explorer icon look. Uh, on the last build, they had it like in a whitish kind of color. A lot of people were complaining about that, so they brought it back to their original state, which is okay. I kind of like that color. So, you know, it's it's a minor design change. Top number two in my list is if you go to Start and you go inside the Start menu, as you guys can see, you have A, B, C, the lettering. It, it, they put it into alphabetic order. But on the numbering, they changed it. It used to be 0-9, now they change it to a pound sign or the hashtag. Uh, I don't know why they're doing that, but uh, it's it kind of strange. But that again, that's another you know design change. Top number three in my list is within our settings. So let's go inside our Action Center. And within Action Center, let's go to All Settings. And within All Settings, we're going to go to System. And within system, we see a new option that says projecting to this PC, which is pretty awesome. This device doesn't support receiving multicast, so you can't project it widely. Again, this is a virtual machine, but if it was a physical machine like a laptop or a tablet, I'm able to project to another PC, which is awesome. So I'm assuming that the other PC has to be a Windows 10 machine. Top number four on my list is uh, two changes within Internet Explorer. They added a new feature that allows you to see what's new and what kind of tips and tricks. So if you click on the little three dots, you get a new option that says what's new and tips. It would give you a rundown of what's new, how to use it, and you know, get yourself familiar with Microsoft Edge. If you don't want to use Microsoft Edge, you can always use Firefox or Chrome. Now, another thing within Microsoft Edge, uh, they kind of enable two new features behind the scenes so i'm gonna show you guys where to go so within the address bar we're going to do about colon flags so they gave us the option to enable h.264 as well as tcp within the network which is pretty cool i haven't played around with these two new features but again it's there and top number five in my list is uh this one is a cool one i like this one a lot as an it administrator apparently microsoft is giving us the ability to upgrade a pro to enterprise there's no more wipe and clean installation anymore which is awesome so the only way to do it is you go into let's go to start let's go to all settings let's go to updates and security and activation now, within activation, as you guys can see, I'm activated as a Windows 10 Pro. But if I wanted to activate this virtual machine within a Enterprise Edition, all I had to do is go change product key, accept the user account control, and right here, just enter my Enterprise serial number, and that's it. There's no rebooting, there's no clean installation, there's no wiping the hard drive and reinstalling again, which is just pretty awesome for us system administrators. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the top five new features within Windows 10 build uh, 14352. I know there's a lot more. I know Cortana has been upgraded to the point that it's able to uh, play music. Uh, and I think the sticky notes has been updated as well. I haven't been playing around with that too much. But if you guys are testing out the latest build that Microsoft has pushed out to the Windows Pro uh, preview people, let me know at the bottom. Let me know what you find out at the comment section. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.